How's it going YouTube? Uh, so uh, I'm making a video here about uh, how to even out uh, spots from touch-up paint. Um, I have a uh, 2014 Civic Si and uh, the uh, previous owner of the car uh, was I'm assuming a really bad tailgater because he had a bunch of uh, really uh, really bad uh, chips from rocks and stuff like that so I decided uh, to go and get a paint pen to touch it up and uh, the downside to the paint pen is that it doesn't come out even it doesn't look even with your paint so uh, here if we take a look here you can kind of see right there how it looks uh, definitely uneven there's a few few places that I did it now I just went over and actually right here used to be the, one of those exact things and you can't even see it anymore so this is a video on how to uh, basically smooth that out and make it uh, blend with the rest of your car so first what we're gonna do is uh, I've taken a little piece of a uh, 2000 grit sandpaper and uh, I'm going to uh, go over this piece right here and uh, try and smooth it out a little bit I'm gonna take a little bit of water and we're gonna wet sand it just a little bit I don't have a spray bottle otherwise I'd be using that but I'm just gonna get it a little bit damp and then take this and kind of swirl it in And basically the goal here is to do this until uh, basically it uh, you can't feel the scratch or you can't feel the excess paint anymore. Okay, so now I've gone over it and I can't feel the scratch anymore. So we're gonna go and uh, we're gonna rinse it off and wipe it off and see what it looks like now. So I'm going to pour a little bit of water on there and I'm going to take my dry rag and just kind of wipe a little bit away. Okay, so you can see a little bit on here, maybe not on the camera, but uh, a little bit where the paint pen kind of missed the chip a little bit. Um, that's okay. We got the majority of it evened out, and uh, you can see how there's kind of the the swirl going on. The paint is much uh, much more matte than uh, the actual uh, standard paint. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take some uh, turtle wax. I got this rubbing compound here. Um, you need to be really careful with this because uh, this is the heavy duty one. So uh, it will cause serious damage if you leave it on your car too much. You could really mess up your paint. So uh, just, you know, be aware of how long you keep the, uh, the compound on your car. So uh, with this, basically, what we're going to do is, uh, I've already started over here. I'm going to take a, uh, a damp rag right here. I got it wet already. And uh, I'm going to rub it in the compound right here. So we're just going to get a little bit on the tip here. Okay, right there, that should be good enough right there. Now I'm just gonna take this and apply it. So the key here is don't let it dry because if you let it dry is when it could really start to cause some damage. Um, I'm putting just a little bit of pressure on the uh, actual swirl. Um, so just doing some circular motions here. Okay, now before it dries up, I'm gonna take that uh, dry towel and I'm going to wipe it up. Okay, now you can already see where uh, it's kind of smoothed out a little bit. It does still kind of, uh, it is still noticeable. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that rag one more time and I'm going to apply just a little bit more of the rubbing compound just to make sure that everything kind of smooths out and those little scratches find their way, uh, find their way gone. Okay, so now you can see that it's a, uh, it's a bit dull. You can still see it's a little bit more matte. <laughs> Definitely looks like there's like a big scratch mark or a smudge mark on the uh, on the hood. So <clears throat> now what we're gonna do to try and solve that is uh, we're gonna take some simple uh, polishing compound, or uh, I just have standard polish. I don't actually have the polishing compound, 
Um, but it worked for me. So I'm using the uh, Meguiar's Ultimate Polish, the pre-waxing glaze for this. Um, so uh, we're gonna take this and uh, I've got a pad. Thank you. Um, and uh, we're gonna just put a very small amount right on here if it'll come out. There we go. It should be good for now. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna apply it to this area here. And uh, I'm probably gonna apply maybe uh, two to three, maybe even four um, layers to it just to make sure that we get everything out, that we get everything nice and shiny the way it's supposed to be. So also this is just like the uh, rubbing compound. You don't wanna actually leave this on the car too, too long for it to dry. So I'm gonna do that and I'm gonna take my towel again, the other side that doesn't have the compound on it, and I'm gonna wipe that off. Okay, so now we can look here, and you can see just from that one little wipe that it's actually started to buff that out and shine it a little bit. So uh, now we're gonna go back, and I'm gonna do that one more time. And now, if you look, that scratch is almost gone. So I'm gonna go in for one last little, uh, one last little layer and see if we can uh, get those last little scratches out. <clears throat> All right, now, if we look at it, it's pretty much gone. The only thing you can see here is that the little nick where the paint pen didn't actually fill in at all. That was my own personal uh, mistake. But uh, yeah, other than that, it's shiny all the way around and uh, looks great. Now I just gotta work on the rest of my hood that I jacked up. <laughs> but uh, anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Hope this helps you out.